But isn't it absurd that we're having this conversation about the geopolitics of the energy transition and not one of us on this stage is an oil and gas producer? Because we're going to have to have oil and gas for the foreseeable future. But if you again ask me that question, we have the incredible opportunity uh, of having Sultan al Jaber as president of the incoming COP, who is not just an oil executive, he's also someone who's had 20 years experience of investing in renewables. Now, if there's someone who can take these executives, you know, grab them by their clothes, drag them together and say, it's about time you used all these profits to invest in renewables and not give everything to your shareholders, but give it back to society so that we go into this transition with a lot more sense of urgency. I think Sultan can deliver that. I hope he can deliver that. And we'll certainly encourage him to deliver that uh, uh, working towards uh, COP28. Your Excellency, what do you make of all that criticism of Dr. Sultan? So we know that the next years to 2030 is extremely critical. And it's like you said, the unlocking the finances is so critical here for us to be able to, yeah, how do I say, the pathway that we're going on to actually disrupt it and take an accelerated approach upwards. And Sultan, he is the CEO founder of Mazdar, which is our flagship uh, renewable energy company. And he was placed in Adnoc to change Adnoc so that, because we're always going to be an energy exporter, but the type of energy we're going to export is changing already and will change in the future. I don't know if you, some of you know this, but we, I just came from the World Government Summit and in 2015, our now president, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed said, if we invest today correctly, we will, in a few years time, be exporting the last barrel of oil and we'll be celebrating. This was in 2015, and it really is. We need everyone on board. COP, this COP28 is going to be a, a COP for everybody, and we need the oil and gas sector to be with us, and we need to shift the way they're doing business. We need to decarbonize what they're doing, and we need to then phase out oil and gas in a just uh, way because everybody needs to be included in this. Yeah.